Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplets. This season was much more exciting and intense than Season 1. Major love drama finally occurs as the girls start to confront each other on their feelings towards Futuro. I couldn't stop watching. In this season, Futuro continues to tutor the Quintuplets, but things are quickly changing. They're starting to realize their feelings towards Futuro, but feel conflicted on what they should do regarding his feelings. Also, the major clues this season about the identity of a girl that Futuro met when he was younger. I did not expect the love drama to get that intense in the season. I was just expecting the quintuplets to talk about their feelings towards Futuro, and they'll be happy for whoever he ends up with. That did not happen, and it was a major shock. One girl used messed up tactics that was so twisted and cruel. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It didn't go all out school days. It was more psychological attacks, which was still pretty messed up. It's like, how could that girl do that to her own sister? It really was a key competition and they're doing everything to get Futuro to be with them. I was really into love drama and I couldn't wait to see what would happen next. In this season, even Futuro realizes that some of the girls have crushes on him, and it was exciting to see how he react towards their feelings. Even as shocking as love drama was, the most shocking thing was Nino's personality changed. She went from worst girl to his possibly best girl. Her personality was absolutely terrible in season 1, and was still pretty bad early on in season 2, but then her personality just changes in the most unexpected way. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm so used to seeing Sundere characters stay as static characters and repeat the same cliche lines. Static character means never changing. To see a Sundere develop like that was amazing to see. That is what I always wanted to see. If all Sundere characters had great character developments like Nino did, I wouldn't be complaining about them so often. Now I can really enjoy this anime series. It's so much better to watch now. Now that Nino had a major change. Instead of hanging Singer on screen, I couldn't wait to see her. She was exciting to watch. The mystery about the girl Futuro met when I was younger finally got solved this season, and I had mixed feelings about it. I didn't really care what sister it was, but it was disappointing at how they made it so easy to figure out. There was a huge clue that the anime gave that made the answer to mystery so obvious, and it's like, did the anime just really do that? They did make up for a little by trying to fake us out with a false clue. That did make me question if I really knew what sister it was. But, I still wish they didn't give that huge clue early on the show. It just ruined the major surprise. The opening for a season was alright. The ending song for his anime series was okay. The music was nice and was really dramatic due to important moments. The anime style looked good, just as the first season did. And the anime looked good overall. This second season was even better than the first. It had more intense love drama and the best character development a Sundere could get. I give this season a 8 out of 10. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.